The main question is, is Orion going to be there in the hospital with us? This is a topic that a lot of people have asked us in the past, like, hey, are you going to bring Orion with you to labor and delivery? Are you going to bring him with you to the hospital in general? at you guys at night <laughs> yes that's why there's so much lighting around us yes i really just wanted to record this because i have been asked so many times through our youtube channel question and i decided it is time to address it and talk to you guys about that so in today's vlog what we are going to cover is orion with us in the labor delivery slash or janice and the delivery of our little baby sushi Yay. this is a topic that a lot of people have asked us in the past like hey are you going to bring orion with you to labor and delivery are you going to bring him with you to the hospital in general and we've always known what we're going to do and we didn't really think to make a blog on it but a lot of people have asked us so we said you know what let's make a dedicated blog to answer this question because you know some people do have legitimate good questions and we just want to make sure that we cover all the bases so everybody understands because maybe you have your service dog and you're thinking well i'm pregnant should i bring the my service dog should i not i don't know so we're going to answer all those questions today The main question is, is Orion going to be there in the hospital with us? And the answer is, no. No, sorry, he is not. Now, it doesn't mean what we do should definitely determine what you should do if you have your service dog. Every team is different. For me and Orion as a service dog team, I just don't think it's the best as his handler for him to be in that situation. Even if it was vaginal or a C-section. Now, remember, in a c-section you are obviously going through a full-on surgery so in the or they never allow service dogs now in labor and delivery i believe they do but i'll be very honest with you i would not recommend taking a service dog into that because imagine that is an extremely stressful thing that you're about to embark on of birthing a human being emotions yelling screaming crying everything you know that's that... a lot of stress on a service yes. dog honestly and you know the service dog will try to alert you and you can't you know praise them or tell them to go lay down because you're busy birthing a child it's just one of those things that's an extra complication that you know some people you can do it good for you but i personally would not recommend doing that now, once again, it is up to the handler, it is up to the team, and your dynamic with your service dog. Yes. But I could tell you with my dynamic with Orion, he probably would not stop alerting to me. He would be pacing around the room, he would be trying to, you know, get in front of the nurses, get in front of the doctors, and we definitely don't want that. He's gonna be like, move, I gotta tell her she's not doing good. That is based off of me and our work dynamic. Now, once again, there are so many other service dog teams that I've seen that have been able to do labor and delivery together, and that is great for them. That's amazing. Yeah. But we also should consider our dogs as well and the mental state that we're going to be putting them through. It is stressful on you, and if you're very stressed, your service dog is going to be very stressed because they're going to see that emotions that you're going through, and they're going to feed off of that energy a little bit. So try to think about that. Now, here's a big thing. Right now, with COVID, Obviously, you know, with labor and delivery, every hospital has their own rules, regulations, COVID protocols. Some hospitals may only allow currently one support person with you during labor and delivery. It could be your caregiver, uh, parent, friend, cousin, spouse, but they sometimes only allow one. Imagine if you're in labor and delivery, something happens where they go, hey, you now need a C-section. Something happened, an emergency, whatever it is, you need a C-section immediately. So we're gonna take you into the OR, and now that support person cannot leave your service dog by themselves in a room. No. They have to stay with the dog while you go by yourself into surgery. Now, those are also things that you need to take into account that something may happen that is not perfect your your birth so then you may need surgery and that's a whole other complication who's going to take care of the dog what's going to happen and again extra complication extra worry that 
you shouldn't really need while you're giving birth. What is going to happen to Orion and of course Yori while we are delivering this princess sushi of ours? He's gonna roam the streets like a savage. Thankfully we have amazing family members who are gonna watch over our pups while we're going through this journey. We are gonna create a separate vlog detailing out the suitcase luggage for both Orion and Yori and um, I already have it set up with a family member that once you know we leave uh, my family member has access to our house they're gonna come in pick up the dogs their crates their food everything take them to their place and they are going to keep Yori for the entire time while Janice is recovering so at least like almost a month I'm assuming and then Orion will take him back once we get home from the hospital. So like I said, that will be a completely separate vlog of what we have packed for him and his uh, little mini staycation with some family. Yes, and trust me, this family member is, it's pretty much Paul's sister. She is going to spoil them so badly. Yep, 100%. She, she loves spoiling our pups. 100%. Now, once again, to rephrase, guys, Every service dog team is different. They know what they're capable of handling and what they cannot handle. And I can tell you this, as us as a working team, I definitely don't want to put Orion in that stressful situation. You know, it sounds crazy. Some people who don't have a service dog or have never seen a service dog team in action or together on a daily basis or enough for you to really see how the dog reacts. When Janice is like really pissed for any reason, he will literally come straight to her and just be right next to her and he's trying to come for her trying to help her if she's crying sad anxious nervous excited you're she's screaming happy he literally comes to her makes sure that she's okay so imagine giving birth and you know all of those emotions and everything he feeds off of that and he may try to get in the way of some medical staff you don't want to have to worry about birthing the child taking care of your service dog and doing something else at the same time like it's a lot to handle in an already high stress situation. So, like I said before, with C-sections in the operating room, service dogs are never allowed. It, yeah. That is across the board, all hospitals, and the reason why is because that is a sterile environment for sterile protocol and making sure that everything is clean, they do not allow service dogs in the OR. So, it's one of those things that, in an operating room, you are very well taken care of okay yes. you are probably gonna have at least like 10 people in there taking care of you making sure your blood pressure is okay your heart rate's okay your oxygen's okay uh, making sure that you're relaxed that everything is fine and they have all the medications any kind of rescue things any and every kind of situation possible they're gonna be able to see it and have it instantaneously because obviously when you're going into surgery you're hooked up to a bunch of monitors to make sure you're okay now obviously when you're at home and you're not feeling well or you know your heart condition epilepsy whatever your service dog may be for that's for him at home when you're not hooked up to 14 computers now, another question that we do get asked is is he gonna come after your c-section and once again he will not he will be with family friends taking it easy yes. because that's gonna be also a time for us to kind of bond with thy little princess for the uh, very first time you know have some alone time in the hospital you know instantaneously right after the baby's born janice is in recovery for just me and her to just sit there quietly and just be together as our new family yes. and we just want to enjoy those moments soak it up and trust me orion will be there for many of those moments but in the hospital again we just want to concentrate on us i don't have to worry about taking him out feeding him, yeah. doing anything. And again, some hospitals may allow two people to be in the hospital room recovery-wise. Our hospital currently only allows one. I can't have anybody come pick him up, take him out. I have to go and leave Janice with the baby by herself. That's not ideal either. Alrighty then, guys. So that was it for this vlog. We hope we answered some of your questions. Yes. Once again, every service dog team is different. They go about things differently. And there's nothing wrong with that. To each its own. As long as you're following protocol and following the law, that's all that matters. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We want to spread as much awareness as possible possible and you know we want to answer and interact with you guys as much as possible as well so guys thank you so much in 
the description below, you guys will find links to Orion's Instagram. So you can see his service dog journey from when he was a wee little pup. We also do periodically give updates through Instagram, but the people who get the updates very quickly and one of the first updates ever are Patreon. Patreon is an exclusive behind the scenes platform. So it's a paid platform and they get behind the scenes content as well as one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions with us, the Raleigh family. Currently, we are not doing any of the Skype sessions because little Sushi is here and we, Janice needs to recover. You know, once Janice recovers fully, we will then resume the Skype sessions later on. If you guys have any questions of that, please feel free to message us on one of our social medias. So guys, this is where we end it. We hope we educated you just a little bit and we hope you guys enjoy this journey and more future journeys as well. So guys, for now, adieu and good night.